super ready. Welcome back. We're the Birmingham. <laughs> what? You didn't want to start it? I'm 12 months pregnant. <laughs> and that... We're the Bourbon Junkies! And today, we got a little Larceny A122. Um, Not excited. <laughs> All right, well, it? speaking of mediocrity. Um, that was bad. This is gonna be worse. All right. Nailed that. We didn't see anything in terms of Larson de Barrel proofs within like year 21, apparently. Only 20 and now. We didn't you actually- You almost cheers that and didn't. I know, because I was like, does it deserve a cheers? Now- It smells pretty good, actually. The oh. ECBP A122, we were not giant fans of. Larceny barrel proof. Larceny is Heaven Hill's weeded mash bill. We don't often like normal larcenies. Do like some of the store picks. Store pick larcenies are pretty, pretty good, good especially value wise, they're pretty yeah. damn good. Um, the larceny barrel proofs we have had are often hyper nutty for us. Like Also, hyper hit or miss. It's either we're like, wow, I like that, or wow, I don't like that. Pretty miss for me generally. Yeah. That being said, it's just all of the nuttiness that comes from Heaven Hill is put into one batch. Seemingly. Yes. This is basically like a babe, the weeded brother to Elijah Craig barrel proof, but way cheaper. These are like $50, yeah. which is like We're saying that, and crazy. every time we say a low price tag, I look it up and on, on the, the sheet, the it's always about 10 more dollars than what it's Okay, say. but in the state of Michigan, it might be more, but yeah. somebody just said they found a bat, like box of these for 45 bucks. All right. That's um, crazy cheap. Overall, that smells, smells pretty good. good. Mm -hmm. I like how it smells. That's, it smells like candied almonds. It's got funk on it though. Um, you know what, what is that? It's got the the when you go to like the circus for the fair, mm -hmm, the mm -hmm. hot nuts. Yeah, it's got hot nuts. Hot nuts, but a lot of sugar. Not cold ones, hot ones. Oh, it's super sweet though. With yeah. like that. Um, it's that like a fish oil note. scent. Yeah, that fatty note is in there. It's like an omega three. Very oily smelling. Just a tiny little baby hint of like alcohol. Yeah, this was kind uh, of a fresh crack today. Yeah, literally. Yeah. Sean actually unwrapped the top and then didn't open it, so it's very much fresh. Hey, if you guys want to donate to me <laughs> to uh, start getting some ADHD meds, that'd be great. Just Maybe get, just ADD meds. Just get Sean's brain in. Yeah, I don't know that you're hyper, that's true. Just need the D. Proof 120. <laughs> okay. Five minutes later. Oh, okay. <clears throat> Proof 124.4, so 62%. Point two. I actually really, I'm into the nose of this whiskey. Um, I really like how it smells a lot. Mm-hmm. You try it yet? No. <laughs> <laughs> wasn't, wasn't quite ready for that. Um, I haven't had a lot of whiskey here. Today. Oh, I like that. Um, <laughs> this has a little bit of woodiness to it. This is so good. This is like a chocolate covered payday bar. No. In the best way. It's more like a Snickers it's that salty. was like sitting next to a table saw that someone was running and there's just a, a bunch of sawdust. Have on you it. drank it one time? Yeah. It's not dry. Drink it again. It's not. I've drank it once and it wasn't dry. Holy shit, that's a little good. Well better on the second drink. Milky Way, not payday. That's a Milky Way. Snickers still. That see the problem is is it does have the the hint of peanut, right? But mm -hmm. in a good actually in not too much chocolate. Not it a nutty Snickers. Fan. No, it's got chocolate. That's what's nice about it. It's got a nice- Not like a Snickers chocolate. Oh, it's though. like a zero bar. You have a zero bar? One of my favorite candies in the whole world. <laughs> okay, we just had a uh, 20 minute conversation about chocolate and peanuts and in relation to how they go into a candy bar. And I we're just back. got <laughs> so scared and I'm so glad that was on camera. Dude, that was wild. I put this up to my nose, but I thought the liquid was coming at a oh, yeah. fast rate. So I literally panicked like there was a spider coming out of the glass to attack me and I jumped backwards. I think it, it needs this. I think it needs a Matt Porter no, treatment. No, it's fantastic. I For love me. this bottle of whiskey. $50? Okay, Matt Porter treatment, bringing it up a little bit. Nougat, chocolate, nuttiness, sweet, sugary. There's a sweetness up there. What it's, is it? It's salted car caramel. It's not. You salted. say caramel or caramel? Car. Which I, one do I say? No, neither of those were options. Caramel or caramel? No, the second one wasn't an option. I say Carmelo. Caramel? I just replaced the vowel? Caramel? Caramel. I say caramel, like I a normal say, person. I like to say caramel, like, like I'm in a soap opera. There's, I'm gonna be honest, I'd really have this than an old Fitz decanter. Oh yeah, I mean, we've only had one that we really, really liked, yeah. and this is actually a third of the price. Literally. And a lot better. Yeah, barrel um, proof. 
I would probably take this over a 122 ECBP. Same, 100%. This is 50 freaking, let's I call it 60. 95 for our <laughs> ECBP. Yeah. This is great whiskey. 50. This is really, Heaven Hill, maybe these for us, maybe we are liking the Larceny Barrel Proof line now. The the lack of nuttiness in the balance of it is so much better There's than the previous There's a little bit of, of nuttiness in here. Yeah, no, I'm it, saying the balance. Oh, the balance okay. of it's better. Before it was like, hey, do you love nuts? And that's it, period, nothing else. Sweet, it's caramel. Salty, a little bit. A little brine. Like weirdness Love it. in there. Yeah. Um, I still get that little bit of dry woodiness mid palate. Has a good finish. Um, it's just sugary, a little bit of oak. I mean, fuck, dude, that's a hitter for 50 bucks. That's really good whiskey. Like, that's really good for 50 bucks. Um, in, the, in the day and age of everything being 60 to 80, if that's 50, I hope it's 50, because we've said 50 too many times in this video. It's 50 now. not be 50. Um, a lot of bleeps. It's got a perfect chocolate covered, like a uh, coffee bean at the end and the mm. finish. Yeah. It, this is such like a candy whiskey. I love it. I love, honestly, coming, I'm not a huge weeder fan. Mm -hmm. I love this bottle. If I see one of these at retail, I'll go buy another one to have. It's fantastic. To drink, because it's yeah. really good. Um, I think it's pretty crushable. I don't think it's too hot, especially 122 proof or whatever. Yeah. It's pretty good. I think um, it gives it a good linger though. Yeah. With the, the proof, there's a lot of good flavor going on. Well balanced. Um, you got your Omega Fatty 3s in here. You got a grade? Mm-hmm. A. A plus. Oh, yep. A plus. I'm that, going this flat This is a perfect score. Just, it's just because there's that little bit of what I'm calling the, the peanutty note that rides the line to a woodiness for me. I think that this goes to the end of the year blinds. Oh, you think so? Mm -hmm. And there's two more. This B ECBP A122, it's way better than that. Yeah, and I, I don't think you're wrong. I yeah. think this literally slaps almost yeah. every Larceny, Larceny Decanter. Larceny Decanter? I'm having a stroke. They probably used to make those. Uh, old Bits Decanter. Yeah. Um, just hands down for a third of the price. That's really, so. I, the fact that that's, if this were a $100 bottle, I'd be like, that's really good whiskey. That's what I'd say. Yeah. The fact that this is $50 is insane. Yeah, cool. What are bourbon yogis? Yeah. Like, comment, subscribe. We definitely didn't say that. Tobo. Ever. Throw us a few Chico's, if you know what I'm saying. 